bum, 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 designers discuss. Everybody always says, well, where do you listen to your podcast? And everyone has the Apple Podcasts um, app downloaded on their phone if they're using iOS. But nobody really thinks about it, and it's not very pleasant to use. I use it because it's free and it's already there, um, but I'm ready to go to something else yeah. <laughs> because it's not great. Um, it's funny, the look of it is fine. Like, it doesn't look horrible necessarily, but it's so confusing to use, and it's so... The, the structure of it is just kind of a mess. Um, and especially when you were telling us about Pocket Casts, it is so much easier to use. Like just being able to see all of the shows that you've been listening to is amazing because right here yeah. it says, listen now, but what does that mean? Did I download these? Are they stuff that you should are listen they things to that, now? Right, are, are these things that I've listened to in the past? Yeah. Mm. So I will say I love purple and I think their use of purple here is super hot. Oh yeah, I do like the color a lot. I like that. I think the color's great, but it also like, it doesn't leave room for the podcasts to be part, like how Pocket Cast, mm. it was kind of merged into their own mm -hmm. brand. Yeah, you're right. This looks so like, if I'm scrolling down in here, I have no idea which podcast I'm listening to. Yeah. So there's no reminders of where you are in the app. Yeah. Um, the library is confusing. It gives you your recently updated, but you can't see all of the podcasts yep. you listen to. So yeah. then you go into shows or episodes, but you can't see both kind of and there's you can't visually see your queue mm. you and you can queue things up like, but you can't actually go look at it which is kind of a pain really weird yeah uh, i didn't realize that i do like they do have the sleep timer which mm -hmm. i really appreciate and then there's a difference between saving the episode and downloading the episode but i'm not quite sure mm. what the difference is yeah. <laughs> so it's just kind of a it's kind of confusing it's very confusing i'm not really a big fan of it well I use, I, I got excited when Google Podcasts came out recently. So actually for a lot of the, what you've said, is, a lot of what you said is the reason I actually don't like Google Podcasts. I'm a Google fanboy. I like a lot of what they do. I'm not afraid to obviously say what they screw yeah. stuff up, but um, I was excited for a new podcast app because again, I've been using Pocket Cast for almost a decade now. So when I downloaded this, I got really disappointed really quickly. They, they definitely focus on trying to like surface discovery stuff for you. So they're like constantly saying, here's a podcast. You're like, here's a podcast that everyone yeah. else likes. Like everyone listens to stuff you should know. It's right. top of the list on yours, it's top of the list on mine. Um, or like the Joe Rogan experience. I don't listen to that podcast, but they're still showing it to me every time I open this, pop, this, this app. To get to my stuff, I have this little box mm -hmm. that just That's says for you and it's tabbed and they only show me three at huh. a time and I have to go to all episodes and all new episodes or all downloads. And so like they split the stuff out in weird ways to where if I wanted to just listen to mm -hmm. a, an episode, they have them up top, which is nice, but they're pushing for the new ones and they expect you to stream it. Um, now I don't like streaming podcasts. I'm fine streaming music. For some reason, when I tried to stream podcasts, sometimes it doesn't work. Mm. Or like, I'm into a story mm -hmm. and it just like buffers. And so I just download all mine so that they're there when, when I'm ready for them. For some reason, I downloaded an entire series of revolutions. Yeah. I, it took me like 10 minutes to go through an entire season to just click. Oh, and that's who you're talking you about, can't yeah. download all of it. Mm. No. Whereas before, on my other one, I can just go tap, 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 tap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they show up in the right order. Um, and so I think that's definitely something that really annoys me. There's no way to, like, stop listening. Like, oh. I... And this might just be something that's... Shut your ears. <laughs> I have this thunderstorm thing that I asked it to play a while ago when I was traveling to play storm sounds. And oh, it's nice. just still there. And it's just a minor thing, but it's like, I, I don't need to listen to thunderstorms anymore. It, it seems like it's very quick to find a podcast, but for how I use podcasts, it's definitely like, yeah. I need to go find this one thing and listen to it. Cause I know I've been listening to it for like a month. I think something that's both of these do wrong is mixing up the order of how things should be. Mm -hmm. I really want, like I listen to podcasts in order or I want to know the chronological order. And yeah. it constantly just rearranges. So the app that I chose that I dislike is the partner phone app to this camera. So Fujifilm makes beautiful cameras. I think they're well known for their glass and like old timey body style. Mm -hmm. um, but their app 
mine is mostly just about trust, not even just like user experience. There's a, some slowness there, but it's trust. Like I went to the app store and just searched, I don't know, Fujifilm, and I found this app and it is so sketchy. Yeah. It, it does say Fujifilm, but it's called, the app itself is called Cam Remote. Yeah. So you can like control your camera. I haven't really done that, but that's a cool feature. It just looks like they spend, you spend a lot of money on these beautiful cameras and they produce beautiful cameras, but they can't spend money on to like make a good app experience. Yeah. Um, and so this is what you're presented with. And this is sort of like, I was talking about menus, how good they are on Airbnb. This is like the primary menu you're dropped into and all this text just competes so hard oh. for your attention. So connect, so I'm going to try to, I literally don't remember the process here. So it's in this menu, you have to know where the it's menu is. Sub menu, wow. Yeah, so you have to leave the app. I have to leave the app, go to my settings and then choose this Wi-Fi. So that's already bizarre. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're meant to drop out of the app sure. and then choose. Yeah, I literally just, I you do have to use the steps to remember like, how do I do this? Cause it's such a weird. And then I think I hit okay here. It's just so weird. But so, and the thing is you can only send one picture at a time yeah. to your phone, which takes forever. Like what if I want to batch That's select? really nice. Mine is just downloading, 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 done. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it shows, where, where it shows like it. a preview. Like, yeah. That's, that is nice. So that's cool. Um, but one image at a time, like I want to batch. So what, oh, if, yeah. what if I end that? So here's, here's the, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's a live, oh, that's freaking <gasps> yeah. tight. That's cool. It's a live view. <laughs> now, oh, that's freaking cool. <laughs> so okay, this is actually pretty that's sweet. That's so cool. <laughs> but, but the thing is, you have to get over the barrier of like, is this app gonna give me like a virus or like what What even is this and why is Fujifilm so cheap? It mm -hmm. looks very cheap. And then they're still using like these kind of sort of skew morphic buttons, which don't even look like the buttons on the actual camera, yeah. by the way. That huh. was the shutter button, but that looks like a record button. Yeah, that's interesting. Wait, so yeah, nothing I can change here is, that is weird. And look, you can't even see. Oh, you it shuts down the eye finder and the, the viewfinder. And so really, uh, it's it's not the worst experience ever, but it's just like, looks bad. And I think it's, my, my complaint is all about trust. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, you spend good money on a good camera. Mm -hmm. They should spend good money on a good experience for the user. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. And there is something else. Something else we wanted to say. If you guys want to watch some more designer videos, just keep an eye out on our channel. It's true, cool. we'll be there. Yeah. See you there.